Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is a Visual Basic exercise for beginners. We are going to calculate um, a, a compounded interest. Suppose a fixed amount of money is deposited at the beginning of each month into a savings account paying 6% interest compounded monthly. After each deposit is made, uh, this is the formula they give us, that's how we calculate the new balance. Write a program that requests the fixed amount of the deposits as input and display new balance after each of the four deposits. So, uh, fixed amount deposit, basically, it means that uh, uh, each month we will deposit the same amount of money and we will compound the interest from the previous balance and add it to the current balance and that will create a balance from which the next month uh, will be calculated now normally you would only have this as a, if you if you deposit it once this would be the formula that you would follow you would increase it by five percent but you would have a kind of uh, you would not deposit any more money but they say that we still deposit not only that we increase it by five percent we also deposit a fixed amount of money uh, that's uh, let's say if I deposit thousand dollars the first time I will also deposit it the second third and fourth time as well now they want us to make four deposits so that's a kind of a constant they give us the number of deposits that they want so uh, okay so I have the form very simple just a button that when clicked uh, they will read the number from the text box that's the original deposit and I'll put the four months with the uh, compounded interest in it. So um, most of the uh, functionality will be in the button click uh, for the balance button, but we also need to uh, create a function that will actually calculate the uh, the interest, which is the uh, which is this function. So um, I'm gonna do that, but before I do. I need to create a variable called I'll just call it balance and it's gonna be a double because we're talking about money I initialize it to zero and this is a global variable we need it global because I need to access it from uh, from within uh, all parts of the form I need it from the button click as well as from in the function that I'm gonna create and balance is going to uh, retain its value it's gonna be basically uh, added to it as we go each each time the uh, for each month the balance will be increasing so we need to kind of remain retain the previous value so we can calculate the next value so um, that's basically kind of like uh, calculating the accumulative uh, cumulative totals this is similar you enter the balance then you add it to it and then you add it to it and then you add it to it so that's why I'm doing it uh, global now we could as well do it from uh, the button click and pass it as an argument to our function uh, by reference and that would actually retain the value as well but I prefer just to do it this way there's no really need to to by reference uh, passing if you all you do is uh, use this uh, variable uh, throughout the form so rather than passing it just make it global all right so that's our uh, global variable so uh, I'll just add uh, we need to access it uh, everywhere in the code so not just the, in one method but in the function as well so I'm gonna create a function that uh, calculates new balance. This function is called four times. We have four months to do, so four times it will be called. And uh, it uh, it um, increases the balance and. Uh, returns its new value all right so um, 
in practice it means we'll create a function and we'll create a function I'll call it new balance it will accept the balance um, not the balance but the original deposit as an argument we doesn't need to accept the balance because it has an access to it because again balance is global but we, we will need to pass remember each month we will deposit the same amount of money uh, and the money that we deposit will be entered into the text box so uh, it's simply going to uh, pass a value I, I'll call it original deposit because the deposit will be the same for each month and it's gonna be a double and it returns double so the function returns double uh, and it will return the balance the balance will at the at this point when the balance is returned it will hold the new value increased by five percent and we've added new original deposit to it so the function itself uh, it's uh, from the exercise that they give us now uh, the exercise itself it says uh, the account pays six percent but in the formula they gave us actually just five percent so i'm gonna use it as five percent though uh, whatever the formula says so but you can change it to any percentages you want so it, it won't make any really difference uh, in the functionality of this function it will be the same you just change the percentage so our balance will increase by five percent so 1.005 multiplied by itself which is the balance because we, we are adding five percent to the balance uh, so balance plus five percent of the balance and on top of it the new deposit remember every month we will deposit the same amount of money we, we don't just accumulate the interest we will actually make an active deposit of the same amount so this is the formula they gave us this is how you increase it by five percent add the new deposit and return its value whatever the calculation and returns so that's the whole function and over here in our button click i'm going to create the uh, original deposit as double and it will equal to the whatever is in the text box now the text box returns a string but we we have to work with numbers with doubles so i have to convert it to double so that's why the cdbl convert the to double of whatever is entered into the text box deposit dot text so um, there's two different ways to actually uh, output the uh, the results and call the function since we only have four months you can do it kind of manually you can simply add each month separately uh, with the items that add uh, functionality for the list box or we can use a loop and I'll show you both ways so let's do the uh, manual uh, adding to it uh, first so I will do list output dot items dot add and I will do month one and I will concatenate it with uh, the result of the function what's what's returned here so I'll simply call the function new balance and we will pass the original deposit which is the value from the text box because that doesn't change it's the deposit for every month so uh, we'll pass that we'll call the balance it will recalculate it adding five percent and adding the deposit to the old balance that we had and return the whole value back to us and i'll put it right here after the month one so uh, and it's the same for months two three and four so two three and four all i have to do is change this and this would be the by hand if i run it uh and i uh, input the thousand dollars as an initial deposit i get thousand two thousand and five three fifteen and uh four thousand and thirty but you can see the formatting is way off it uh, this is not even currency it's just a bunch of numbers so i'm gonna instead of uh just calling this new deposit like that i'm gonna 
convert it to string and format it for currency so to string and currency like that and uh, I'm gonna copy paste that right here for all the other two, uh, three of these so when I run it again I should have a much nicer output oops and we have the same numbers but they formatted with two decimal places and uh, for numbers so remember we deposited thousand dollars the first month so there is no interest or anything so that's just one thousand dollars for the next month we added five percent uh, which would be uh, we, we would calculate it we would calculate it from uh, the thousand dollars add the five percent and an additional thousand uh, dollars for that month too now from uh, month three we would uh, add we would recalculate it from the previous balance that was month two and add another thousand dollars and finally for month four we would calculate it from the balance of month three and add a thousand dollars to it and uh, this is the expected output that i received uh, as a uh, with this exercise so this is what's supposed to be well actually output and that's also uh, again in the formula 1.005 now to me this is wrong uh, if I was going to increase it by 5% uh, 5 percent from thousand is 50 so I add an additional thousand plus 50 to it so it would be 2050 not 2005 I think they have the formula a little wrong I think it's supposed to be 1.05 that that gives you 5% not 1.005 if I run it now um, and put thousand dollars and I get thousand on initial deposit and then 2050 which I would expect and then from there uh, I get 3152 and that if I take my calculator so I do I have 2050 divided by 100 and uh, so that's one percent if I do that multiply by five that's five percent plus 2050 and plus the ad additional thousand dollar deposit because that's uh, each ta each month is thousand dollars and I get 3,152 so that, that that seems to be correct I think the formula they gave us was wrong so but uh, you know it's up to you whether you leave it or not but I'm gonna go with uh, with this formula now so this is the by hand now let me uh, comment this out and I'm gonna show you how to do it with a loop instead and it's gonna be a for loop uh, because we know that we have four months so we need to iterate four times so i will do four i as integer equals and i can start from one because this is not doing anything with arrays or anything i'm simply gonna be one to four to four and um, over here let me just grab these doesn't matter which one because that's gonna be the same call or kind of the same call except now I, I cannot uh, hard code month one month two one month three instead I, I have the month then I will concatenate the number of the month which is going to be uh, basically the value of I from one to four so start of, uh, at the beginning it will be one then two then three and four so uh, I will do month I except uh, I will make a space here so it will basically say month one month two month three and so forth and uh, then I will concatenate the rest of it so month one uh, and we will do oops like that and then you balance uh, let me see if that's correct So if I do 1000 and I get the same values so you can see that's working and it's the same formatting as well it says months one two three four this is dollar signs two decimal places so it's working the same way so 
uh, it's really up to you which method you use. Now, uh, if it was um, more than four, you know, like what if you had a, I don't know, a bunch of years, uh, let's say three years, you know, would you would you wanna do this 36 times? You know, I don't think so. It would use the loop. Loop is definitely a better solution, but uh, if you're at the point where you, you know, are not familiar with loops, this would be the way to do it for you. If you are familiar with the loops, then you definitely should use that. Now at this point we have only one problem, and that is, and let me demonstrate, when we run the application, and I'll do 1000 and run it, and then let's say I do 2000, and then check in another input, it just keeps adding to it. And if I click this button, it just keeps adding the number and it add, adds the balances as well because it remembers the previous balance and it just calculates from there. So what we have to do uh, at the top of our uh, button click, we need to clear the list because every time we click the button, a new input is being added. So we have to clear the list. So list output dot items dot clear. It will take care of it, but we also need to make sure that we start from the new balance of zero because we again we input in a new value, new balance uh, as a new input. So when I run it again, and I'll output a thousand, it outputs it fine. When I keep clicking, you can see that uh, it doesn't add to the list box, and when I do two thousand as an input. It will simply start from there. It doesn't add to the previous input either. So 3000, you can see that that's how it goes. So if you wanted only one use, you know, you don't have to do it, but it's uh, obviously if you wanna, you would have to exit the app for each input you wanna add. So this is definitely way better solution. Simply clear the text box and set the balance back to zero for the, before you start new calculations. All right, so this is the uh, this was the exercise. So uh, I hope it wasn't too difficult. Uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, it helps you. And uh, if it did, leave a like, leave a comment, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.